Hello, welcome here to my channel. So by now it may be safe to say that we may have discovered almost all the animals present on the earth's land masses because humans are literally everywhere on earth. Our discoveries have ranged from various features belonging to all our land animals from the polar bear to the African lions also to our birds like the penguins, hawks, crows, sparrow, pigeon and all other animals living basically on land or around land. The diversity in these animals have made us found various weird looking ones like the hoedzin, great hornbill, snakes, rats and various other creatures also. However, the oceanic world is just amazing. We have from all those fishes, octopuses and the sharks, we have known most of the animals living in the ocean, but in reality it is just 5% of the animals living in the ocean. Yes, there are lots of mysteries that the ocean has to offer us, like the blobfishes, the octopuses, the blue whales, and even the mystifying beauty of the corals. And for example, this organism is really weird. What are they? They are unicellular organisms named xenophyophores, which can be up to the length of 20 cm. Yes, you heard it right. They are just a unicellular organism which can be up to the length of 20 cm. So what are they? So xenophyophores are protists which means to say that their cells have nucleus but they are not a plant, animal or a fungus. So xenophyophores are the largest single celled organism that can be found in the deepest part of the ocean. So since they are benthic organisms, they are very difficult to be grown in the laboratories. They were discovered below they were discovered 10.6 kilometers below the sea level in the Mariana Trench and named as giant amoeba. Yes, these are their friends. And as we know, Xenophyophore 4 live with other various deep sea creatures too because deep sea is just a largest undescribed biome and very hard to get there. In 1893, Xenophyophore 4 was classified under a family of protists called Foraminifera by an English paleontologist called Henry Bowman Brady. So, Henry Bowman thought that this giant looking xenophyophore shell was made up of only one cell in it. Isn't it just enormous? A cell with just an enormous shell? You will need more than 100 billion average sized human cells to fill this single shell xenophyophore cell. So how do xenophyophore do this trick? It is simple. Well, the giant cell inside that shell is just made up of thousands of nuclei. As we know, nuclei is a control machine of any cell. And so just this one cell can do basically everything required for the function. And where do xenophyophores get the shell from? Unlike most foraminiferans, xenophyophores do not produce their own shells. Therefore, since they are scavengers, they have to rely on sand, dead fishes or rocks for producing shell. Yes, they are just a single cell body which rely on sand, fishes or rock particles to build up their poop. However, the weird stuff doesn't end here. Xenophyophores have been discovered even to be radioactive. Yes, you heard that right. Researchers have found that some species of xenophyophore have unusually high levels of uranium and radon in their shell. Actually, thought that a sort of sponge when it comes to soaking up metals. 
So that also explains an equal amount of mercury and barium sulfate present in the shells. Scientists cannot explain why xenophyophores do all this, why do they absorb stuffs from other bodies and they are just another mysterious creature living in the ocean and houses made of poops. Thank you for supporting this channel. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe me and please hit the bell button for more videos.